In this video I'll show how to add an SVIC remote control to your LEGO creation. So we are going to take this LEGO RC Track Racer, add the SVIC, and in this video I'll show the whole process of both building in the SVIC and how to program it. So you will need a uh, model like this or any other LEGO model with power punches motors, an SVIC of course, then you need an extension cord, and this is a standard extension cord from LEGO for power functions in order to power the SBRIC. And finally, you will need your computer and your tablet or phone with the SBRIC software on it. The first step is going to build in the SBRIC so that it is powered up and ready to control the model. And then we have to update the software because, or the firmware inside of the SBRIC. So, building it into your model is quite easy in this case because we can just replace the power functions receiver with the s -brick. So, we're taking out the power functions receiver, like this, and take our extension cable, connect it to the s -brick with the light grey end, to the light grey s -brick, and the dark grey end to the battery box. This, secure it back. And add the motors to two of the connections. There are four connections on an S brick, but we can just use two of them. And that is it. Turn it on, and you should be able to connect with your S brick. Now we're ready to connect our S brick to our mobile device. So, first, when you fire up, the SBRIC software, it's going to give you a tutorial so that you can learn how to use it. And when you're done reading the tutorial, you can go back there. And let's see if I can add an SBRIC. So go into the SBRIC menu, you can see it's connected because it's turned on. It's also a green light you can see in there. And the first thing we have to do is to update the firmware. That's quite easy, you press the button and press OK. And after a little while, the firmware will be updated, and then we are ready to continue. Now that our SBRIC is getting a firmware update, we can use the time to build our remote control. So first we go to social.sbrick.com and create an account so that you can log into the designer. Once you've done that, you can go to designer.sbrick.com and create your remote control. You do that by adding a profile, plus profile, let's call it RC Tracked Racer, and it needs a description as well, so we just say standard remote for RC Tracked Racer. And now you need to add a default orientation, the landscape is fine with me, and I have an iPhone, so it's going to be 16.9 aspect ratio ready to create it and here we go first i'll select a background i've already downloaded an image from the lego's website that looks like this so i'm going to use that close it up here and now we're almost done we just need to add the controls i need two controls one for the left track and one for the right i simply drag it in make it a bit larger I think the yellow doesn't really look good, so I choose that one instead. So what's important is that we give it a name that makes sense. So this would be the left track. And the channel I'm going to name the left track as well. All the other things down here are not so important, except remember it has to have auto reset on. That makes it much easier to use. Now close that one down and add a slider for the right track. Same, I'm going to have this knob because I think it looks really nice. Pull it over here and you can sit and fiddle with the sizes. I'm just trying to see if I can be somewhat the same size as the one on the left side. And call it the right track. I'm going to copy the right track down to the name of the channel. And auto reset is on, so everything is okay. Now, this is almost the same size here. 
And that is how I'm going to control my RC track laser. Save it up here. And that is it. Now I should be able to use it from my phone. So back to our model and our controller. I have had a successful update of my s -brick and I have restarted the phone. It is quite important to restart because then if you don't, then it won't function well. So let's go in here, log in. And yeah, that's my credentials. Go in, go, go, go. I need to add creation. So I'm pressing the plus button down here. Let's just quickly add a name, call it A, doesn't really matter. I can add a picture and so on. But what is important is that I have a remote control. So you can choose one of the preset ones. That's, that's a lot to choose from, but we made our own. So let's go to my profiles and use this one that we just created. Profile successfully downloaded. Want to set it up? Yes, I do. So what is the left track? Well, we can just guess, but we can also press test. So A, nothing happens. B, nothing happens. C, aha, that was the left track, right? So C would be the left track. Do we need to invert the direction? I don't know. Let's find out later. First, we're putting the right track in. And that should be the D. Uh -huh. You can see it went the other way, so we need to invert one of the directions. I don't know which one yet, so let's just not invert any of them. Save, and we're ready to play. Press the picture, and there we go. So let's first see the left track. If we're moving the model a bit, go forwards, it goes backwards, I don't like that. The right one, that seems okay. So let's this little X in the button, in the top left corner, and modify our setup. So a little button there. Left track need to be inverted. There we go. Save that and ready to play again. See? Right? As before, left. It works. And now we have remote control that actually works. Let's see if I can try not to fall down and It works beautifully. So that is how you set up an s -brick with a remote control and into your model so that you can control it. This was just a simple tutorial. I will come with other models later where you see more advanced use of the s -brick. So this is all for now and I hope you can try it for yourself if you haven't already tried an s -brick because you can do quite a lot with this. Thank you!